it's me Maya I'm back again with another video um, this video um, is going to be about my current one year challenge um, I mentioned it in one of my first videos but I didn't get a chance to record it as yet so here I am today so um, the one year challenge is basically one year no dating um, so no boyfriend, no girlfriend, no going out on dates. Um, I try not to even entertain any kind of conversations, any deep kind of get to know you kind of conversations. Y'all know what I mean. Um, but I like to say that I'm dating Jesus and not just like not dating because I think with that mindset, it kind of flips the script and helps me to more easily accomplish what it is that I want to do which is spend more time with um, Jesus, get to know him better, um, in the process get to know myself, and hopefully find out my purpose, and that kind of thing. So, um, that's in a nutshell what it is for me. Um, I think the one year challenge originated from Andy Stanley. He's the pastor at North Point Ministries, and in his series, New Rules on love sex love and dating um in one of those um, one of the parts of the series he mentions the one year challenge and um when i first heard it i was like hmm that's interesting um and i heard it at a point where i was in this kind of dating rut kind of thing it wasn't really working out as i had hoped or planned I um, had started to become more serious with my walk. Um, I wanted to, you know, date with purpose. And then I heard him speak about it and I was like, hmm, maybe I'll take him up on that. Um, so, and then I had also heard my um, pastor, my local pastor, mention it, I think about like two years ago. And I think I attempted it too, but failed miserably. I think I did it for maybe like a month or two, if all of that, but yeah, but this time around, I'm about a little more than halfway through, um, so I think it's going good thus far, um, something else I wanted to talk about too. Yeah, so something else I wanted to mention along in this along with this video um, is a book one of my friends, Corel Pinder, she's a Bahamian, she wrote about her um, challenge. She actually did the one year challenge, I think about maybe two years, two or three years ago. Um, and she wrote a book about it and the book was so good. Like, it was so good. Like, it wasn't what you kind of expected it to be, just you know, like, my day-to-day -day struggles with the, the challenge or that kind of thing but it was really realistic and like applicable to like life um it kind of broke down how you could just better yourself it was just an awesome book and i encourage you to read it um and through reading that book it helped me to have a new sense of appreciation of what this challenge is um, I think for me, one of the main, like I mentioned, one of the main things was to develop a, a, a better relationship with Jesus. And I think also with this challenge, it's going to help me to get to know myself better and just make sure that I am 100% before I could go and be with somebody else and not be at 100% and suck from them the excess that I need. Like, if I'm only at 80, I'm gonna suck from you the 20 that I need to be 100. So, no, we don't want that. I think it should be two 100% whole people coming together, being 200% full on for Jesus, um, fulfilling the purpose of what the union, you know, was meant for. Um, something else I wanted to mention too. Um, oh, along with, you know, getting to my, know myself too, in kind of seeking 
guidance during this time or just trying to find material, sermons, readings to encourage me during this challenge, I also realized that there's also more to it in terms of like if you if you're in debt, if you have debt, you have bills and stuff, it's easier to get out of debt as a single person than it is as a married person like for some reason we think it's the other way around we think that it's you know two incomes coming together but unless that person is debt free the two of y'all coming with y'all bills so it's double income but also double bills so you know get yourself out of debt i mean and just do it for you it's good to be debt free and not have to worry or stress as much i mean of course you can have your utilities that's ongoing but if you have like student loans a car loan things like that some people have vacation loans um pay those off first while you're single while you well for me i don't have a chick or a child so you know it's easier to do that kind of stuff at this point or even like pursue um education in the area i know i want to practice spanish clean up my spanish it's easier to do those kind of things when i'm just worried about me and jesus and not having to worry about somebody else too you know because when we get in relationships we be all into them you know <laughs> so i think that's another thing that's going to be beneficial with this challenge um just looking at my notes here oh and also in like researching and finding encouragement like i was saying too i came across a sermon by dr miles monroe um God, may his soul rest in peace. Um, he spoke about the gift of singleness. And some people, you know, some people think that it's a curse to be single, but singleness is a gift. And in that video, he, I, I'll probably include the link in, in the description, but it was so good. Like, um, he spoke about it not being like mandatory for us to be married like jesus lived on this earth he fulfilled his purpose and he wasn't married so it isn't something that everybody is called to be a part of and um i think that's important to remember and i think with my challenge not my challenge my channel that's something i want to lean more towards the fact that not you may god may call you to a life of singleness because you need to be single to truly put all of you into what he's called you to do your purpose you know so i find that a lot of times when i look up videos on youtube talking about being young and single or christian and single like people talking about preparing yourself for marriage in this time of singleness i mean i think you do the the two simultaneously if you like trying to better yourself and being a better person you become that person who the person you're looking for is looking for. So that's what Andy Sandy said in his video. But I think you kind of prepare yourself in becoming a better you. But if you're called to a life of singleness that is never to get married, are you gonna truly be happy with that? Like are you would you be happy living a single life and not just constantly preparing yourself for a marriage that may never come? And some people live that life but it's important to be happy truly content in who you are who you are in Christ be content with Jesus and you know fully accept and take on the purpose that he has for your life so I think that's more so what I want to do on my channel so I'll try to do like a video on fun things to do by yourself or with friends just saying to occupy your time so you don't have to constantly have on your mind oh my gosh when i can find a boyfriend oh my gosh when i can find a girlfriend i can't believe i x age and he married yet my friend is getting engaged like no you don't need to be doing that like it's so much more to life like let those things worry about itself just take it one day at a time one step at a time um just truly seek guidance from jesus every day ask god every day what it is he wants you to do in that day and um I think just as you take each individual step, you'll get to your purpose. I'm still in the process, still learning, still growing. I am by no means an expert. I am by no means saying that I have it down pat, but I just want to share with you guys some things that has been helping me along the way. Because it, it is a struggle. You guys are It's like... 
It's rough. But I try to take it one day at a time. Um, and then also with this challenge, it's truly been helping me to learn to be celibate. Um, the whole version thing is out the window. So um, starting over, being reborn, um, not dating right now has kind of made it easier because... Um, I'm not pursuing anybody, I'm not allowing anybody to pursue me, so the chances of me finding myself in that predicament <laughs> has greatly decreased. But even before the challenge, I kind of made up my mind a while ago that I am going to do this thing the right way, so I'm going to start over. Sex is such a big distraction, it leads you into emotions that unnecessary you create soul ties that can be so hard to get rid of like you try to figure out why you can't let this person go why you're always thinking about them um, why you find yourself missing them when you know like y'all ain't together for a reason or that kind of stuff like it's soul ties like you connected your spirit to that person's spirit and now you can't let go and I truly think it's something that should be experienced in marriage and um, yeah just kind of make up your mind to really not do it I mean it's a struggle shoots I feel like I got attacked last night in my sleep I having bad dreams and then I wake up feeling guilty sorry I'm getting sidetracked but I try not to condemn myself I just wake up in the morning and I'm like thank god I actually didn't do what I dreamt and you know I gotta remember to cover myself while I sleep because the enemy knows when I'm awake I'm determined so he's trying to get me in my sleep so no um yeah and then you know it's I think it's just a part of being holy too um God has called us to be holy as he's holy you know um and in trying to seek him first, um, that's one of the main things that he kind of pressed on my heart to do, to refrain from sexual activity. So that's what I'm trying to do. Um, don't get this far. Um, so I think that's mainly it. Um, the main thing about this challenge is to, you know, remember why, you, why you're doing it. I always try to remember why I'm doing it. And it's not to, at the end of it, you know, all of a sudden find a mate or something. I mean, if that happens, then fine, great. That's what God wants. Um, but I think the main thing for me is trying to find my purpose and walk in purpose and it's important to know that if you are united with somebody like what's the purpose of your union it ain't just so y'all could be together have fun take selfies go on vacation together have children have children <laughs> sorry my baby and die like have children but you know everything should have a purpose um and i think that's kind of how you know who you should marry too because your purpose will kind of like match like if you follow heather Lindsay, she will um tell you about her struggle um her life what it was like before she got married and kind of how she knew that her husband was her husband and the fact that their purpose is kind of you know they are in alignment i think a lot of marriages fail because people aren't together for purpose um they're two different people on two different paths trying to do two different things so if I'm trying to go this way, if God telling me to go this way, and you go that way, like, we gonna end up splitting. But if the two of us are together, and we know that, okay, the two of us are supposed to um, be missionaries, it's going to be easy for the two of y'all to go together and walk and do that together. Um, so, I don't know why I said that where it came from, but that's just something else I wanted to mention, too. So, I hope that this video was encouraging. I hope that somehow it spoke to you, um, let, and let you know that you're not alone. You're not the only one out here struggling. 
Um, but it's a good struggle, you know. We all have to die to ourselves, we have to die to this world. Um, pick up our cross, really um let go fleshly desires, things of the flesh, and really follow Christ. So know that you're not alone. Um feel free to put a comment, a question, any um thing you want to say in the comments below. I will reply and um, just know that people out there are praying for you too. Um, continue to be encouraged. Know who you are in Jesus. Know who you are in God. You're loved. You're wonderfully and fearfully made. You're the head and not the tail. You are a conqueror. You are protected. You are valued. You are worth more than rubies and gold. You know. Um, it's important to uplift yourself. Um, can't depend on other people to do it because if they fail us, they're not. So, yes, just continue to. Don't get weary of doing the right thing, doing the good thing. So, yes, be encouraged. Um, don't give up the good fight. Um, I know that you are not alone and it's doable. He will never put more on you than you can bear and know that your strength comes from him don't try to do things of your own might but seek him and his strength his mercy is fresh and new every day strength new every day let tomorrow worry about itself and yeah you can do it alrighty god bless bye